Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Alex Rifkin. I'm the founder and CEO of Raw Labs. We're a developer of Raw Protocol and on-chain interest rates venue. Uh, today we're going to cover one of the strategies uh, that were requested by our community members. So a few people in our community were asking us what are the possible uh, strategies you can trade with more than one instrument, which are currently available on Raw. And today we're going to cover one of such ideas that we have uh, spoken about recently and um, what we're going to do in the series of these videos is basically trying to run a strategy and tracking the results. So a few days or a few weeks down the line, we will look at the outcome of this uh, trade and we will basically try to illustrate what can be done with race trading on chain. So today we're going to be looking at a mean reversion trade uh, of a spread between Binance and OKX funding rates on Bitcoin. As you can see on the screen, this is the chart of the spread since uh, early 2023. So if you look at its behavior uh, for about a year throughout roughly 12 months periods, you can see that typically, first of all, that spread is positive. So we're looking at anywhere you see the dotted line, uh, blue dotted line on the screen, which, is which sits at around about 2%. That is your normal value of that spread. And occasionally in peak markets, we can see that that spread tends to even widen to 5% or more. So right now, if you look at the current markets, and we will see it when we switch to uh, raw, we'll see that actually the spread is now inverted. It's negative, which also happened a few times throughout the past year. But this is a bit of a discrepancy. And, and we can potentially hope that the rates are going to return to their uh, more like normalized 2%-ish uh, value a little bit later. Uh, and we are going to explore how we can potentially construct this trade on RAW and what could be the positive outcome of this trade if we get it right. So today I'm going to do the first part, right? I'm just going to construct this trade by trading two futures, trading the Binance BTC funding versus OTX BTC funding. And if sometime down the line, we're going to look at the outcomes of the trade. So in order to make it very kind of simple and visual, um, you can see um, this is a completely new account. I created a new account and I deposited uh, 1,000 USDT worth of collateral into two markets, 500 each. So you got 500 sitting in the Binance BTC USDT funding market and another 500 in OKX BTC USDT funding. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to trade a potential uh, change of the shape in that spread, right? So if you go to uh, this market's drop down on the left, you can see where both markets trade right now. So the Binance BTC USDT funding is now at 13% and the OKX BTC USDT funding is currently at 16.37%. These are raw rates, the fixed rates, the forward looking rates. We are looking in both cases uh, at the June maturity instrument. So this particular instrument will mature, as you can see over here, on the 28th of June, 2024. So we've got around about 20, uh, 22 days between today. I'm recording this video on June 6th. And we've got about 22 days. And we're going to try and make a leveraged bet on uh, that spread uh, inverted. Right. So right now, as we saw on the chart, the OKX one trades about roughly 3% above the Binance one. And we think that probably, probably this will invert back to the mean of Binance trading higher. So in order to do this trade, we basically need to buy the Binance BTC funding and sell the OKX BTC funding. So we're betting on Binance BTC funding going up and OKX BTC funding going down or at the very least, uh, them moving in the opposite directions, inverting this spread. So let's do both trades right now. So we go to the Binance BTC funding. And let's say, uh, just to make the outcome of the trade more uh, visual when we record that video, let's try trade it on a re relatively high leverage. So right now I have $500 worth of margin as you saw sitting in this market. And I'm going to trade it on, let's say, 100x leverage, right? So 100x leverage, I'm going to trade with my $500, I'm going to trade an ocean of $50,000. Um, you can see that while the leverage is high, still, when we look at the estimated liquidation rate, the only time when uh, my position will be at risk of getting liquidated is if the rate currently on the screen, the Binance BTC rate drops to around about minus 3.5%. 
remind you, this is not the floating rate. This is actually the fixed rate. So the market should estimate in order for that to happen, the market should be estimating that uh, the rates on average are going to sit at three and a half percent between today and the end of June. This is not a momentarily drop for a minute or for a day, right? We're talking about an average rate, an expectation of the average rate from now till maturity, which is a pretty, pretty safe bet. It hasn't happened for a very long time when we saw those rates consistently at minus three and a half percent. So I'm quite comfortable making this bet. And mind you as well, I'm going to be selling the OKX funding rate. So you can make an argument that unless this spread widens very significantly, I am somewhat hedged against any directional moves, right? So if Binance goes up, then OKX likely goes up as well, or other way around, if Binance goes down, the OKX is likely also going down. These rates are relatively highly correlated. So now I'm going to run the trade. I'm signing the transaction on my MetaMask. Um, it's confirmed. Let's wait for the trade confirmation. There we go. Trade has been confirmed. And now let's go and do the same for the OKX funding market. So we go to the OKX funding market and here we go short as we discussed. Let's use the same leverage, right? It's important if I want to bet on the spread to make it a quasi market neutral bet, then I'm going to have to go short for the same notional as I'm going long. I used 50,000 on uh, Binance. I'm going to use the same 50,000 on OKX. You see here as well, I'm trading at about 16%. The estimated liquidation rate when this position will be at risk of liquidation is if the fixed rate on our market goes to 33%. So I'm going to run this trade as well. Let's wait for the trade confirmation. And it's done. And now let's see, let's look at our portfolio. Let's see both positions uh, over here. Just give it a little bit of time to load. You can see that my open position now shows on the chart. And the same will happen if I go to the Binance one. I'm going to see the chart with a current position as well. There we go. I'm 50k long. So both positions are now displayed here. So as we discussed, right? So I'm uh, in Binance BTC funding instrument that matures at the end of June. I'm long for 50,000 and I have the OPX one and I'm short for 50,000. So that's the setup. So we're going to record the second half of this video after some time and we'll see how this trade performs. And have a good day, everybody. One week later. Okay. So now that we've closed both legs of our trade, you can see the closing transactions. Uh, we can look at the results of the trade net of fees. So to remind you, we opened this position on the 6th of June and uh, closed it today on the 12th of June, just three hours later, basically, then we opened it on the 6th. So in six days, uh, here is our total balance. The account value is now 1,152, 1,152 and something used DT. Uh, Remind you, we started this account with exactly 1,000 USDT deposit. That's what we started with our, uh, what, that's what we started trading with. So, uh, net of all the transaction fees, we made, uh, 152 USDT in six days, which is about 15% return. I'm not going to brag about annualized return. Obviously, it's quite handsome. Uh, but I think 15% in six days is pretty amazing for anybody trading in crypto as well. And, um, we will continue uh, offering other ideas and uh, recording similar videos for other strategies as well. Uh, please let us know in the comments or uh, join our community and let us know what you thought about this video, about this strategy. Uh, if anything is unclear and you would like us to comment on further, we will continue recording uh, these videos and hope it helps everybody to understand how they can better be benefit from trading crypto native rates. Uh, and uh, understand a little bit better how you can use uh, raw to your benefits and to the benefits of other activities in trading. Thank you.